So I am attempting to do a little video of what I'm doing, which is really difficult because I don't want my phone to fall in the water. So, all right, you should be able to see some of this. Hopefully it will stay. So these molds are called tie molds uh, or pour molds, and they have a screen that fits into the bottom and then they have a, the decal is very tall. Um, and these ones are awesome because they float in the water and the screen stays in. A lot of them uh, don't float in the water and you have to hold the bottom in the whole time. So these are great. Um, and the difference between these and a dip mold is that these ones, you take the pulp as it is and pour it right into the mold. And then you do what's called diddling the pond. <laughs> and you, uh, it's a very zen process and uh, you kind of spread the pulp out so it covers the whole screen. You gotta do it very kind of carefully. You can't rush it too much. And when you see that there aren't any holes and it's all full all to the corners, then you lift the whole thing out of the water and you have a sheet on your screen on the inside. So these particular molds are kind of heavy and since the screen fits so tightly, I put a little piece of string on the bottom so you can get it out. So then I take it out and I have my sheet on the screen, which has to drain the water off because it's pretty wet. There's quite a bit of water on the bottom. So I'll set that one aside. And then I'll do this next one that's waiting here. And I really like this kind of process better than making dip molds because it's easy to measure the sheets so they all end up the same thickness because they, they all have one of those little yogurt containers of pulp in them or whatever size container you decide to use. Um, when you use dip molds you would fill this whole vat with pulp and water and you dip the mold down into it so as you have less and less pulp in the water some of the sheets get thinner. Um, but there's certain things you can do with this, and there's certain things you can do with that. Um, dip molds, you can always make much thinner paper because you can dilute the pulp further. Um, using this kind of mold, if you don't put enough pulp in, then your sheet tends to have holes in it. Um, but I really like this because it's easier. It's also easier to get the pulp off of the screen in one piece. I'm not sure if that's just because it's thicker or what, but I really like this method. So here we go, number two. That's really tight. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna change the angle here a little bit so you can see where I'm getting the sheets off. Let's see if you can see it. Turn it like that. Can you see it or am I in the way? <sighs> Things you learn when uh, you have your own studio and you have no one to film you. <laughs> All right, I think, I think we're good to go. So this is called cooching, which is, haha, it's funny. But this is the process of getting the sheet off of the screen. And as you can see, this particular method yields some pretty nice results. All in one piece, no broken corners, no holes in the middle, no bubbles. That's perfect right there. Yeah. Um, so once you're done with all that, then you take your next felt or uh, these are actually pellens and I'm using these kind of older ones since this pulp is very dark and very orange and I don't want to have stains on nice brand new pulp or brand new felt so then you put the next pal in and then I'll cooch the next sheet on top of it. Ready? So then you lay it down gently and you lift up that side. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. 
So, this is Jonna from Papercraft Miracles signing off. I gotta finish making this order. This actually is uh, amber color beer paper. It's made with hops and uh, recycled paper and abaca to make it very strong. And uh, it's a custom order for one of my first customers. Yay! So, thanks for watching.